All right, folks, welcome to day four of um, 12 Dark Beers of Christmas. Hope you enjoyed the uh, live stream yesterday, even though it's going to be recorded tomorrow because I'm trying to get as many of these videos done in advance, so I'm not playing catch up. And I don't even think I've got 12 beers to uh, complete the series, but we'll give it a damn good try. Um, so, yeah. Oh. What, what could it be? Ooh, what beer could it be? What a surprise. Should I look away from the camera and open it like it's a mystery beer? I don't know. Let's just do it. So, today's beer is from the Blue Monkey Brewery. These um, folks are out of Nottinghamshire, or Nottinghamshire. And uh, yeah, this was kindly gifted to me by the legend that is Raggy, uh, a man who needs no introductions. But if for some reason you've not subscribed to his channel, his link will be down below. He kind of gave uh, a couple of beers and some homebrew to um, good friend Adam Mersey Beers to uh, pass on to me and uh, greatly appreciated it. And I shall return the favour uh, with some good local stuff at some point in the new year, Raggy. Don't you worry about that. So today we've got the Gorilla Chocolate Amaretto. 4.9% ABV stout. So a hearty 4.9% pitch black beer full of multi complexity. Very smooth with a hint of chocolate and amaretto. Not sure how they've utilised the amaretto uh, in the beer or how they've got that sort of amaretto flavour. But since hitting the beer world in 2008, Blue Monkey has gained a powerful reputation by winning more than 100 national awards. I know Raggy is a big fan of this brewery, so I'm very, very excited to uh, give this one a try. And uh, I do like my amaretto flavour. Oh, crack it open. Let's see what we get with this one. So, yeah, I'm guessing yesterday's live stream, because, as I said, I've not even done it yet, uh, would have kept the form of really good beers so far. Touch wood. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get with this one. So beer in the glass then, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much jet black. Looking really nice in this tubo glass, with about half a finger's worth of a nice foamy looking beige head. A little bit darker than beige, I'd say. Maybe tan? What, what shade of tan would you describe that as? It just looks really nice in the glass on a fundamental level. So ho ho, let's see what we get on the no ho ho's. Just turn the video off. Just unsubscribe, report me because that was just disgusting, quite frankly. Anyway, apologies about that. Let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, man. Oh, that smells fucking wonderful. I love amaretto. I love marzipan. Oh, man, that smells wonderful. It's I've said wonderful twice when trying to make two separate points. Oh, that is just pure amaretto on the nose like you've opened up a, a bottle of it oh man i'm instantly thinking because obviously it's a stout as well i'm just instantly thinking of a freshly made tiramisu which by the way that is like the elite of desserts and it's something that i don't make often enough i fucking love tiramisu sort of like the sweet version of a lasagna lovely level of sweetness lotus biscuit coming out of there as well 
about Lotus Amaretti Cheesecake. Mate, you have to make that. Get some of the, uh, the, the butter, the butter, the, the spread. Mix that with a bit of cream and a bit of cream cheese. No bake, it's done really quickly. Lotus biscuits as your base. Melt some of that lotus um, butter thing down spread. Pour it on top, crumble some over and it's just. And then just make a little well right in the middle of it and just stick your you know what right in. In fact, I'm gonna do that with this beer. Hang on a minute. Ah. Humour. God, that smells really fucking good. Anyway, let's see what we get on the note. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we get on the taste. Cheers, folks. Cheers, Raggy. Really appreciate this, mate. And you get it on the, the taste as well. Obviously, aromatics tend to be a lot more powerful than the flavour. Happens a lot with beer. But you get just the right amount of it. Oh, that's a creamy, creamy stout for its ABV. It's got like the, the texture of like skimmed milk. Nice gentle carbonation. Oh. If you like amaretto, you're going to really enjoy this beer. Like, is it essence that they've used? Or if they... I don't know. I don't know how you'd implement amaretto into a beer without adding the ABV of the Amaretto. But whatever they've done works beautifully. The stout itself is just gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's like one of their base stouts and then they've just obviously adapted the recipe with the additions. But the stout on its own is gorgeous as well. And I tend to get really bored of stouts of this ABV. I'm not saying breweries can't do like 5% and lower stouts. But how many times have you had like a low ABV stout and you've just not been satisfied by it at all? This, however. We're, we're carrying on the air. Uh, the tradition of really good beers on this series. Just the right amount of sweetness. Doesn't get too sickly. And I'll tell you what, that is, for this time of the year, on the run-up to Christmas, it's quite a festive little number. It really, really is. Get it all in. I'm getting like a um, blue riband as well. There's a little bit of caramel coming through. It's got a slight chocolate fudge element to it as well. Wow. When it's all in the glass and all the potential like little bits and bobs that might be in the bottom of that bottle. It's probably just me thinking that the flavour's been intensified. I'd say about 80% of my reviews, at least... <sighs> no, you can't have a percentage then, a percentage within a percentage when you're trying to make the one point. Don't know where my brain was going then. But... Uh... Oh, you need to get a tripod. Fuck off. Maybe someone can buy me one for Christmas, can't they? Do you know what? I'm just going to finish the review like this. Just to spite you all. 
But, um, yeah, this is a really good beer. I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I'm not too sure if uh, these guys do national delivery. But if you can source this beer, this one right here, then... Uh, <clears throat> oh, taste that. Absolutely fantastic. Get in there, D-Lids. Oh. I was in a bit of a shitty mood today, not going to lie, but that, that sure as hell has perked me up a little bit. Lovely stuff, like genuinely a really, really nice beer. I would very much highly, highely recommend this. Somehow at this angle, I look even fatter than when the camera's pointing upwards at a further distance. I mean, just look at that chin. Look at that wonderful chin. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Go check out Raggy, of course. The legend, the man, the myth, the gardener. And then, of course, go check out Blue Monkey Brewery. Lovely stuff. All their uh, links will be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, massive, massive thank you. And uh, to anyone asking, that's where Santa is. Come down my fucking chimney, you filthy twat. Anyway, cheers for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.